everyone so my this particular video is related to the uh, you know andhra pradesh public service commission teaching jobs and ek video maine pehle bhi dala hai i have published one video related to this particular exam and uh, this is my second video this video is related to the marks which will be provided uh, to you by you now selection committee on the basis of your academic credentials what percentage you got in graduation what percentage you got in masters and have you done phd or not on the basis of that some additional marks will be given now uh, let me before that let me tell you something here andhra pradesh public service commission recently announced 3222 seats of teaching assistant professor related to you know engineering science uh, even librarian and so many other profiles there are 18 university in andhra pradesh which are going to recruit now teachers uh, and 20th november is the last day to fill the form so form filling ka detail video chandra sir is going to make and that is going to come so those of you who are interested can fill it up the good thing is like uh, criteria required is masters and marks required in masters are very less not high like btec mein even if you have scored btec mein 50% 45% you are eligible in the masters if in fear scored 55% plus you are eligible there will be 30 additional marks given to you if you have done phd now first stage is screening that is a writing you know mcqs there is a screening stage in which there will be only technical questions no non technical question only technical question and this is a well established syllabus so 12 times students will go to the next two stages next two stages are pedagogy and research aptitude and interview pedagogy and research aptitude is nothing but a teaching skill test the way we mentor you on the europedia how to you know go for teaching skill test on the board usko teaching skill test bolte hain jisko unhone pedagogy test bola hai and another is research aptitude have you done your btech project mtech project what was done in that any paper you have published internship you have done so internship btech project research paper that is a research aptitude or they may check your research aptitude by giving you small questions there then intro stage is there in which technical knowledge of your subject is required and hr questions will be required before that is a screening so 12 times students will be called for screening and that is more than 35000 students will qualify for next stage that is pedagogy and uh, your uh, you know this intro stage now this video is uh, telling you something very important if your btech percentage is more than 80% you are going to get 15 marks If your BTEC percentage is 60% to 80%, you are going to get 13 marks. If your BTEC percentage is between 55% to 60%, you are going to get 10 marks. But if your BTEC percentage is 45% to 55%, you are going to get 5 marks. So the student in BTEC who has got 55%, he is going to get 5 marks, and the student who has got 80% is going to get 15 marks. That is what they have given. in mtech also if 80% plus 25 marks 60 to 80% 23 marks 55 to 60% is 20 marks and the best is for phd students if you have done phd you get 30 more marks now you know entire india mein there are so many of you who want a government job really good government job and believe me assistant professor in really good university state university central university assistant professor job in that is the best teaching job is the best government job you can get it criteria for that is mtech i am now presently your pedia as you know is the largest platform mentoring students for interview guidance and all especially teaching presently bihar public service commission assistant professor interviews are going on before that there were assistant professor interviews in bihar uttar pradesh haryana so many other states also now if you want a really good job in government sector and if you have a research if you have little bit teaching aptitude please go for masters students get opportunity but you know when i interact with the students they keep on sitting 5 6 years for getting a psu job and i tell you honestly in psu every 3 years you will be transferred you will be located in remote location coal india limited or for that matter hpcl bpcl or iucl remote location you may be located npcl but in teaching job you will be in osmania university jntu punjab university at one place and that too because it is university you understand students and university ecosystem is very good there it is not like you know any remote location it is a really good location and assistant professor job is a really good job where you can contribute you can grow 
and you are your own master, nobody's boss. You understand that? So it is really good job. The message is, please, when you get opportunity, don't keep waiting for, you know, keep preparing for competitive exams. Pursue your higher education simultaneously. Go for masters, PhDs and all. And your PD, as you know, is the largest platform which mentor you for higher education in India and abroad also. This is if you want to join state government jobs, state universities. But if you want to get foreign, uh, you know, IITs and NITs, if you want to get jobs in IITs, NITs and very reputed universities, get at least one degree from foreign. Don't do PhD from India, do PhD from abroad. And the moment you have PhD from abroad, these, these universities are going to value a lot. IITs look for foreign university, you know, PhDs. They don't want uh, PhDs from India. IIT Bombay, when they are shortlisting candidates for, you know, teaching job, they want a, a, a PhD from abroad. That is how it goes. So prepare on that line and I'm very sure you will do really good. So those who are PhDs, they get 30 more marks in the recruitment. And that is a, I, you know, message to you. If you have recently graduated, go for master's and PhD and focus on your academics and credentials. You will surely get a very good job in teaching. Thousands of jobs are coming and are going to come soon in teaching because we are getting more universities, lot of retirement and seats are going to be vacant, right? All the very best. Prepare well for this. Thank you.